Hello everybody. Today I would like to do a demonstration about exporting final parts into SolidWorks for further downstreaming works. Okay, let's start. Okay, before we begin, there's a few things that we need to uh, be clear about. That is that SolidWorks and Rhino are very different programs and the way that they handle the structures of their design is also a bit different. For example, in Rhino, you model everything within a single environment and there's no distinction whatsoever between um, parts and assemblies. Whereas in the case of SOLIDWORKS, uh, there is a clear distinction between uh, what is a part and what are assemblies. Okay, So basically, uh, assembly is uh, made out of uh, many different parts that form it. Okay, So um, now let's uh, proceed to export the individual pieces as uh, parts into SOLIDWORKS. Okay, before we begin, you must make sure that the individual pieces are all made into solids. How do you ensure that? Okay, basically you select the object that you are going to export. You go to Analyze, Mass Property, Volume. You should see some value over here. Okay, the value um, denotes that the object is uh, indeed a solid. Okay. So you must make sure that all the individual pieces have um, volume, okay? Yeah. Okay. So now um, let's export the first part. Okay. So uh, you select this and you go to File, Export Selected. Okay. It's not a uh, save as. Okay. Make sure it's export selected because you want to select the selected. Uh, you want to export the selected part, okay? So, and then export to a uh, compatible file format. Basically, there are a handful of formats that uh, are compatible with uh, SOLIDWORKS, uh, namely the Rhino versions, Rhino format versions, Parasolid, Step, and an older file format called IGS, okay? For example, I think I will use a uh, step. So I select step and then I export as uh, maybe this at the top, right? Okay, click save. Okay, so select the schema that you want. Okay, and click OK. I'm not going to save it because I've already uh, done my saving. Okay, so you're going to do that for all the individual pieces that means this you go to file export selected do the same thing and do the same thing until all the parts has been exported okay you might even have to do a bit of like adjustment to the location or the rotation of the design before you export okay that will depend on the situation okay so um there's no hard and fast rule. Okay, so once you've done all the exporting as uh, steps, uh, or parasolid or right Rhino native format, we can head over to SolidWorks. Okay, so now uh, we are at the SolidWorks environment. Okay, I do not have a license of SolidWorks, so I'm using an online uh, trial to do our demonstration okay so firstly you need to tell SOLIDWORKS that you are creating a part so you go to file new okay part okay so as you can see over here SOLIDWORKS have uh, three aspects part assembly and drawing basically the assembly consists of uh, various parts that form it and the drawing is uh, used to create a uh, 2d technical drawings of the assembly as well as the parts okay so uh, go to part click ok let's turn on the planes okay click on the eye icon to turn 
on the visibility of the plane. Okay, as I'm using an online uh, demo, um, it will be a bit laggy. Okay, so how do you bring the Rhino exported part into this environment? Basically, you go to the menu, go to uh, insert, features, imported. Okay, and bring in the exported part. So in this case, I go to step. I want to bring in the catapult top right. Okay, so click open. Yeah, it's in. Okay. Um. By by the way, um. For na basic navigation of SolidWorks, uh, pressing and holding the middle mouse button will create a rotation of the view. Pressing the control key plus the middle mouse button is panning. And zooming is uh, sc scrolling the middle mouse scroll wheel. Okay. Okay, now I want to uh, shell this, this portion so I can go to shell and maybe give a thickness of 1.2. Okay. Select the face to shell. Okay, this is the face I want. Okay, show preview. Okay, click OK. Okay, so I created a shell feature. Now I want to create uh, some kind of uh, fastening detail so that we can uh, do our assembly in the second part of uh, this uh, video series. Okay, so um, I'm going to do that in the front plane. So I select the front plane. I go to sketch. Okay, and maybe I move on to this view so that I can do my sketch. Okay. I'm going to uh, sketch some kind of fastening details. Okay, I use smart dimension to quickly uh, get the dimensions out. So this will be two. The outer one, four. Okay, I want to dimension the center to this edge. Okay. Okay, over here at the bottom right, it says that uh, the dimensions are all fully defined, and so I can proceed to click OK to complete my sketch. Okay, I want to use the sketch to create an uh, extruded uh, boss, so I'm going to uh, go to uh, select the sketch. That I created, go to uh, features and extrude boss. So I want to eat to go down and touch this surface. So uh, I can come here, select uh, up to surface, and pick on the surface for it to go down to. Yeah, you can see this feature goes down to the surface and it doesn't go beyond that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, once I'm done with the part creation, I can go to File, Save As, to save it. Okay, so I'm going to save it as a catapult top right. Okay, yeah, I already saved, so I'm going to click Cancel. Okay, with that, I come to the end of part one of this demo. Okay, hope that's been useful to you. See you around. Bye.